Hello everyone, this is Rob with SATCOM Resources and today I'd like to introduce you to a new innovative satellite terminal called the Scout. Uh, the Scout features a flat panel antenna system and comes fully uh, equipped with all the electronic components that you need uh, to get on the air quickly for a satellite internet connection. Uh, the system weighs about 20 pounds and what's really neat about this is it has all the electronics integrated into this enclosure to make up the complete satellite terminal including the iDirect X7 modem, uh, a 3 watt KU band block up converter, uh, an LNB, uh, embedded Wi-Fi router, GPS and embedded pointing solution. The system ships in one box, comes with a wall mount which you can mount to either a pole with U-bolts or to a vertical surface for a traditional wall mount. You only need to run one cable to the terminal which is the AC power cable and the embedded pointing solution really makes it easy for even a non-technical uh, person to install, point the antenna and commission the whole system. So what I'd like to do now is show you how I've installed the mount for the antenna system. So basically what I've done here is uh, I've assembled the wall mount that comes with the antenna system. I've created this temporary wall mount, basically attaching it to the fence post. Uh, and then there's a bracket that screws onto the back of the antenna. That's the interface between the mount and the antenna. And what I'll do next is I'll go through the uh, installation procedure to show you how easy it is to install, point, and commission the system. Okay, so I've applied power to the terminal. You'll see it's in the ready screen. So now I'm going to press the power button one click and it should go into initialization mode and go through a system self-test. You'll see it's fired up the GPS now. And we're going to go into the satellite acquisition process. Okay, so now we're in the antenna pointing screen and you can see on the display here what it's telling you across the top. That's the reference. So that's the target headings and then across the bottom is your current. So basically what you want to do is make the numbers match. Uh, so what I've done on the elevation is I've gone in and I've set the antenna elevation on the mount to 20 degrees and I did that because that's what my line of sight tool, dish pointer, uh, told me the elevation was. Uh, so I'm starting pretty close. You can be off by one degree uh, in the rough point. So basically from here I'm going to start doing some uh, azimuth sweeps to try to get some signal quality. And then what I'll do is I'll start my uh, stopwatch here. And then let's just do some slow sweeps on azimuth until we get some signal. Okay, so there we got some signal right there. Which means we're locked on to the target satellite. So what I'm going to do is now what signal does is it gives you a max hold, which is a, a handy reference point to tell you what your highest was. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hand tighten down the azimuth bolts here to lock that into place. And now the next step is basically uh, polarity. And what you're going to do for polarity is you're going to rotate the entire antenna system. Oh, and you can see there that we're get already got receive lock, which is great news. So I'm going to rotate this to 44 degrees, right about there, and then I'm going to lock it down. Okay, and now what you see there is I've got 100% signal. Um, again, I've got a max signal quality, and if we look at the stopwatch here, we're only about a minute 30 into the pointing process, so pretty, pretty quick and easy. Now from here, what you want to do is you want to go in and do the fine point where you maximize the signal here uh, to optimize this for the, the best signal quality. Okay, so what I've done now is I've gone in and I've done all the fine adjustments to peak the signal. You'll see I've got a max of 128 and then a current and then I've got a really good uh, signal percentage. You know, it's jumping around between 98, 99, and 100. Uh, the max hold 
um, is a good reference point that tells you what was your uh, max signal quality while you were going through the pointing procedure. So you want to just try to get the current to uh, match or get as close to that as you can when you lock everything down. So we're back in the network now. Uh, we should have everything peaked for optimum uh, quality. And the next thing we'll do is we'll do a speed test to see what kind of up and download speeds we're getting. Okay, so we're just doing a speed test here uh, using speedtest.net. We're connected over uh, Wi-Fi to the integrated Wi-Fi modem in the router in the uh, Scout terminal. Uh, you can see here that we're connected to Intelsat. So this terminal is currently connected on the Intelsat uh, Flex network. So they're actually the internet service provider. So we got 10 down and three up. Okay, just some closing remarks on the scout terminal. Uh, I hope this video showed how quick and easy it is to install the complete system. I think anybody that's uh, installed a traditional VSAT can appreciate how quick and easy the whole process was. Uh, and for non-satellite uh, people, you can also appreciate how easy it was to point the antenna, which in most cases is the most difficult part of the whole process. Uh, and using the display and the real-time feedback actually made it kind of fun to, to point the antenna system. Uh, you know, overall, uh, some of the things I really like about it is it packs and ships in a single box. It includes the mount. Uh, I didn't have to break out the laptop, you know, no configuration or options files, uh, and the embedded Wi-Fi made it uh, really easy to uh, connect to the system. So if you're looking for a, uh, you know, very uh, convenient, easy to install uh, satellite internet system, uh, take a look at the Scout terminal. Uh, for more information, you can contact SATCOM Resources at 970-748-4250 or email us at info at satcomresources.com. Thank you.